Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I've organized my course according to dated folders. Um, so you can see that every single one of my days is dated. These are all the classes that I've made. And you'll also notice that on the outside, I have put, um, or I, right beneath the folder, I should say, I've put what's actually in the folder so you don't have to go opening every single one to see what's inside. For example, I can just go ahead and press this little arrow here and you can just see everything that's inside there. But if you don't want to press that arrow and make it a little bit easier to look at, you can just see that everything that's inside there. And I actually did that myself. I went over to the editing button and I typed in what was inside the folder right here. Okay, so I just kind of lined it all up and saved the changes. Now, what's the advantage of uh, setting up your course by folders. I, I think it's a pretty obvious advantage in that uh, every single day has been taken care of. So if a student, for example, needs to leave early or misses a day, and rather than going rummaging through course content or courses that are organized by units or like, you know, an online textbook, essentially, they can just go right to the day and complete all the assignments that are there. Now, let me just go inside one of these folders. I'll choose April 11th again. So when I click on it, you can see that I have a variety of things that I've done that day. Now, I'm a big believer in uh, what they call the four C's of 21st century learning, and that is uh, to encourage critical thinking, to encourage creative thinking, to encourage collaboration and to encourage communication. So I keep all those things in mind whenever I set up a daily folder. So critical thinking skills, uh, I think we're all pretty good at doing that. You know, we can tear things apart. We can analyze really, really well. Uh, and some of my, uh, some of my, uh, projects in here or things that they they have to complete for the day you can see have to do more with kind of critical thinking skills the um, creative thinking skills however are a little bit different so once you tear it down can you actually put it, put it back together again and that's what my video projects are and in this particular thing I have something called a thing link um, so this is encouraging the creative part this is encouraging the, uh, the critical thinking part um, the collaboration uh, students can work together uh, in, for example, like on warm-up quizzes or quiz reviews. And they can also work alone when they go like to my Ferrante math videos or just individual videos that they do. And then they have to answer a series of questions afterwards. Um, you could, I could have also put in a discussion here, for example. Just go up to my materials index, add in a discussion. And I'll do that quickly. And I could call it discussion. If I could spell it right there, discussion. And then I would say something like uh, tangents. And then I would just go ahead and give the instructions here and then create it. And that would encourage some type of collaborative thinking. So there, there's plenty of ways to actually organize your folders. And you can see I have a variety, therefore, of things in this particular day. Uh, like I said, the biggest advantage, I think, is from the student's viewpoint. They can actually see what's missing that particular day, and then they can just go through each of these, um, each of these types of exercises and complete your assignment. I hope that was helpful.